Hello everyone. I am doing this video because I was asked by one person to talk about um, how Moldavite is not dangerous. Um, and a few, once I had mentioned this, a few other people uh, wanted me to go ahead and share something about that as well. So upon request, here we go. Um, my name is Jeff Rice. I've been a spiritual practitioner since uh, 2009. And um, I've been working with Moldavite since 2013. And um, my own experience with it is <clears throat> that when I came in contact with it, it amplified all the spiritual practices that I was trying to do uh, during that time. Um, made me keenly aware of uh, spiritual existence. Um, there was immediate synchronicity in my experience. Uh, has not gone away since. Um, Hence, I continue to buy more and more and more Moldavite. I still buy new Moldavite today. Um, <clears throat> and I know you guys see me selling it a lot on Moldavite Experience and all the other pages. And, uh, you know, and I have a lot of really nice pieces. And, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. It might give you some background. Um, you know, back in 2020, when we had COVID... Um, and we were all in quarantine. Like, you know, I've been, I've been collecting Moldavite since 2013. And, um, during COVID, out of really a lot of boredom and not really having a whole lot to do, you know, I decided to jump on these pages and, and start sharing some of my collection. Um, <clears throat> there was an interest and uh, everybody was on the internet and everyone was buying Moldavite and all kinds of stones. Um, internet sales really took off during COVID. Everybody was at home and they were just spending money. And um, and there was a point where Moldavite really hit a peak. Uh, right in 2021, um, the price went up, everything went up, the demand for it went up. Um, it hit TikTok, like uh, really... Really like viral, like viral on TikTok, and um, you know, and then, as with any spiritual thing, some superstitions were created about Moldavite, and um, you know, I think it really depends on who you are. But I'm going to tell you a little something about how this this whole belief that something is dangerous about Moldavite, um, how this started. It all started really, I mean, there were several videos, but there was one in particular that really um, grabbed a lot of people's attention. Um, I just wanted to say, if you were thinking about getting Moldavite, don't do it. Unless you want to find out some shit that you didn't want to know about yourself. Like, don't do it. Hey, TikTok. Um, I just wanted to say, if you were thinking about getting Moldavite, don't do it. Unless you want to find out some shit that you didn't want to know about yourself. Like, <laughs> don't do it. Hey, TikTok. Um, I just want So, this, this one video... Um, got into the hands of an a a a, uh, a internet influencer who had over six million followers, and um, he posted this video. And next thing you know, this thing went viral, and um, and then other influencers got a hold of it. Other people got a hold of it and used it. Um, to to really jack up the amount of people following them, and uh, it just it just took off in that way. Interesting how something like this can get started. <laughs> um, you know, my experience with Moldavite is this: um, it makes you more consciously aware, 
and um, it makes you be more true to yourself. Um, however, you have complete control over that. And um, the thing about this is, um, I love Moldavite. And why I say that is because I've had some profound spiritual experiences that have moved me in such a way where, like, I became a more loving person because of it. Now, also, on the other aspect of that, Moldavite can also make you become a little bit selfish, too. Because, I mean, once you become enchanted with it, then there's a tendency to spend a lot of money on it. And one of the magical things about Moldavite is that it has an uncanny um, power to make money just disappear. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so <clears throat> if you love Moldavite, that's great. Um, I feel like you should probably continue forward with it. Don't, don't let any experience of somebody who doesn't really know much about it, um, you know, affect your path and the path that you're on with it. Um, I feel very strongly that, um, you know, if you have Moldavite in your life is for a reason. Um, and yes, you know, um, the things that happen in your experience um, are, you know, definitely a change for the better. But uh, like I said, you have complete control over that. It can be as crazy as you want it to be, or it can be as calm as you want to be. And there's one thing I wanted to um, bring out, and um, I think is most important, is that you connect with your Moldavite. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize, like, these, these stones, right, are here to help us. I use Moldavite to meditate. And it helps me to quiet this somewhat crazy uh, mind that, 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 that is always thinking about what it's going to do next, what it's going to do next, based on the past, based on the future. And, um, you know, when I first started experimenting with Moldavite with, with other people, um, I would have people come to my office and sometimes the only thing that would get a person in a place where they would be calm enough to do the work that we needed to do would to be to actually hold a piece of Moldavite. So what I'm telling you is somebody in a, that has been through a lot of traumatic experiences um, would benefit from holding a piece of Moldavite. Um, every person that I've put a piece of Moldavite into their hand and they have been through traumatic experiences and have been working on uh, dealing with those things, Moldavite has always brought a sense of peace. And this is, like I said, this is from years of working with other people. And I'm giving you just kind of my basic experience with it. I never, in the beginning, had any sense of being afraid of Moldavite. Uh, this, like I said, all this came about during COVID. All this came about because of some influencer on TikTok. And yes, Moldavite, you know, spiked in the price. And now it's going back down again. And now everybody's just trying to find their way with the price of that and you know, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to post a, a uh, spiritual video for a while to kind of just break up all the, all the sale, you know, everything, you know, because Moldavite experience itself and all these other Moldavite groups, they weren't necessarily about just selling Moldavite. And I think that's all that you really see a lot of times. And so, you know, I just want to kind of leave you with one um, really cool thing you can do with your Moldavite to kind of connect up with it and so you know you can really get a real sense of what moldavite is about as far as meditation and deepening your spirituality so i'm going to share with you a little meditation that i learned and i've shared it with a couple people on this group already and um it, got, it kind of goes like this so you get a piece of moldavite this one right here is a little 9.7 gram piece of Moldavite. You do not need a very big piece of Moldavite. And um, what I do 
as I take it and I put it in the palm of my hand, or you can hold it between two fingers. It doesn't matter either way, whichever one works best for you. There's no particular hand where it will work better than another. It's all about your preference and what's comfortable. And it kind of goes like this. You hold it in your hand and you breathe in through your nose. And now through your mouth a few times. And right about the third breath, you can start to feel your chest, something in your chest opening up. I mean, whether it be the chakra or your heart or your, your chi, I like to use the word chi, like you feel like your chi is opening up and there's like this energy right here as you do that you're connecting with the motivator and it's like, it's, it's coming from, I, I call it like your spiritual center. There's something right here, right? right in the spot where Moldavite really hits. And a lot of people have a lot of different theories about what that is. It doesn't really matter. Whatever it, it means to you is what works. And when you when you breathe in, it's kind of like that energy. It just kind of really, it, it kind of really starts right here. And we all have this spiritual center inside of us. And this is the place where we can find peace. And... So then what you do, it's more of a contemplative meditation. And then, and then you ask, how can spiritual reality be revealed to me? And then you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth a few times, three times. By this time, you should start feeling that energy starting to pick up even more in the center of your chest. It's just like you're just like pulling all the energy in, you're breathing it out, and it's just it's, it just it just starts flowing through your body more and more and more. And right now, by now, you're you're connecting more with this molivite, and then. You ask, how can spiritual reality be revealed to me in this experience? And then, again, you do the breathing. Now, during this period, sometimes some thoughts come. And they're usually unselfish thoughts. They're usually thoughts about what you can do for somebody, how you can help somebody. Um, Moldavite lines up with unselfish action. Unselfish motives. And when you hear people being disturbed about Moldavite, a lot of times it's because they're selfish. Um, I, and I, in, in, in reality, whatever they claim that they're experiencing with this stuff, how it's like bad or evil or, or whatever, this is all what they believe. It's not, doesn't have anything to do with Moldavite. Absolutely nothing to do with the Moldavite itself. Moldavite doesn't know anything about that. The Moldavite just connects up with the most spiritual, good, loving part of you. And the thing about Moldavite is, when you love the Moldavite, it loves you back. And it has a lot of things to show you about love. One thing I love about these groups 
is that like when we all started getting together in these groups back in back during COVID and everything, like, you know, we all met up with each other and uh it was a pretty powerful thing, you know. Um all walks of life, all different types of people come together because of Moldavite. People who would normally not mix at all come together because of Moldavite. So the one thing I want to leave you with is the understanding is that divine love is behind all of it. Divine unconditional love is the only thing that can bring thousands and thousands and thousands of people together who have really not a whole lot in common. And somehow we all, you know, find some friendship and fellowship and unity on these pages. Uh, some of you people I've known for years now, um, Shelly Marie and, you know, uh, Mike Delvantes and, um, you know, just a lot of really cool people in here. Um, Kathy Meyer, you know, Colin Clark, uh, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, we really got to know each other in a very special way. It was all because of Moldavite and, um, but what's moving behind Moldavite is divine love. Can you be selfish with Moldavite? Yeah, I think you can be selfish with just about anything. And I think that, that that will be the only thing about Moldavite that causes you turmoil. But as far as Moldavite being dangerous and it being some fanatical crazy thing where, you know, you're... You know, you, you've got, you know, your whole life is being ripped apart. I mean, people take this stuff and run with it. They're just trying to get more likes on their page. That's all. And, um, but really, you know, everything I just shared with you is really what Moldavite's all about. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, you guys give me a shout out. Um, tell me what you think of the video. And more are going to be coming because... I have got some ideas that I want to share with you guys. And I think it's important that we really implement the spiritual um, practices of Moldavite in with all this stuff. You know, these pages are so like packed with selling. And I know you guys see me selling Moldavite all the time. Um, this is not my full-time job. Like I said, I'm a spiritual practitioner um, until COVID. I was just selling Moldavite to my clients in my office. And, um, you know... It kind of got big, <laughs> but um, I, I love collecting Moldavite. I love keeping Moldavite. This is this is actually one of my newest pieces right here. I just got this yesterday. It's a piece of Best of Nice. It's one of my favorites. It's like 9.7 grams, and um, I've already had some pretty miraculous experiences with it. We went to a meditation group last night after we did our event. And by the way, we do, um, me and my girlfriend do a Moldavite and, and sound um event it's called a cosmic shift sound bath we do this every thursday at 5 30. Uh, we haven't like gone online with it because we have a lot of people to come there it's a pretty big event um but we're gonna we're gonna be doing that hopefully be able to post some of that on on moldavite experience and some of these other pages that'll allow it but um until then i hope to talk to you at some point you guys if you have any questions about moldavite don't hesitate to message me um, I would love to share with you any experience that I have. All right. Much love to everybody.